Uh, Glenn Ray checking in for this week's cattle market report for McKean McGregor out of Bendigo. Well, around about six and a half mil of rain we had over the weekend and um, yeah, with the yarding of cattle today it definitely wasn't springtime, it was more like a winter's yarding, very quiet, only 70 odd cattle and uh, we had about 40 of them so really not enough there to make a stew. But the market was hot, so uh, as people say, the price is a wonderful agent, so hopefully the prices they made there today will sort a few more out. Uh, best of our bullocks, well, there was very few of those to quote, but some heavy trade steers, they range from 470 up to 488 Oh, sorry, I'll go again, 370 to 388 cents. The market wasn't that good, it wasn't a dollar kilo in front. Uh, best of our veilers, they made to 440 cents. Uh, some nice drafts of uh, milk calves, they range from 418 up to 425, with the market top being that 440. Uh, no cows there to quote, but uh, the best of the grain-fed trade cattle, they did make up over 400 cents a kilo too. So most cattle that uh, fitted in the grading categories there today were around about five cents dearer on the previous week's market. And apparently all the other markets around the traps today were a little bit dearer too. So uh, cattle markets rebounded and uh, hopefully it's there to stay for a few more weeks, which would be brilliant as we head into the deeper deeper months of springtime when numbers normally do come around and, uh, and the market gets a little bit easier. But can't see a lot of numbers coming forward in Bendigo. Look, it's, uh, it's really changed its demographic to crop and, uh, and sheep country and uh, very limited cattle numbers out there. But we'll have a very good run next week, so uh, we should see a lot of good grain-fed cattle making north of that 400 cents next week too. But for this week's Cattle Market Report, that's all from McKean McGregor. Thank you.